If you have a game on Steam, then go to its page and click on Developer or Publisher. Did you land on a boring search results page? If so, then you need to watch this video. After following this tutorial, you're going to have a professional looking creator homepage instead of that dull search results page. If you've already done this, you're doing great, but you still have a job to do, so skip to the last step for that. So let's jump right in. Here are the seven steps you need to take to create your Steam homepage. I'll assume you already have a Steam account and at least one game created. If not, create a Steam account, go to your Steamworks dashboard and click the big green pay Steam direct fee button. Then pay the hundred bucks and get your new app ID. Set up your new game, then come back and follow these steps. From your Steamworks dashboard, scroll down to your apps and click on the title, for example, Pixel Washer. Scroll down to Store Presence and press Edit Store Page. Under the Basic Info tab, set developers and publishers to your company or organization's name. Remember this name because you'll use it again later. Then scroll down to the bottom and press the big green Save button. Lastly, select the Publish tab, then press the Publish to Public button. Step two is create a community group. First, log in to steamcommunity.com. Click your profile name in the upper right, for example, Valadria. Then click View My Profile. Scroll down to the bottom right and press Groups. On this new page, scroll down to the bottom left and click Create Group. Fill in the form, including group name, abbreviation, and group link. Check the box labeled Public Group. Now I've already got a group called Valadria, so I'm using Valadria test here, but you should use the name that you used in that previous step under developers and publishers. Then click create and create again. In step three, we'll finish setting up our community group. Set abbreviation and headline to whatever you want. In summary, describe your group and you can use BB code to link to your games. Under avatar, press choose file, then select a 184 by 184 pixel image. If you don't have one, I suggest either taking a quick selfie or cropping a square from one of your game's screenshots. Now I have had issues with the uploaded image not updating on Steam. If this is a problem for you, then contact Steam support. In step four, we'll associate our games. Navigate to Steamworks Homepage Setup. Under Link to Create or Page, select your group, then press the big green Save Changes button. Now this step can take some time to propagate throughout Steam's databases. Steam recommends waiting at least five minutes and checking back later. In step five, we're gonna administer our new homepage. On this same page, click Preview Store Page. This should take you to your new homepage, which looks something like this. Now I've set mine up a little bit, so yours will be a little more empty, you won't have as many images. Go over and select the admin tab. As you'll see, there are many options on this page. It's worth taking the time to poke around and see what all you can do. For example, featuring games and creating lists. For now, let's set vanity URL and your background image. So step six is set your vanity URL. In the left sidebar, press edit creator settings. Scroll down to custom page URL. Enter your custom URL short name, for example, in my case, it's Valadria, then press the save button. Now this automatically gives you, it looks like five landing pages for publisher, pub, developer, dev, and franchise. I also highly recommend setting up a website and your social media accounts, but I'll leave that up to you. In step seven, we'll set our background image. In the left sidebar, press Open Page Editor. At the top to the right of the green Follow button, press the pencil icon, and then select or create a 1500 by 220 pixel image for your background banner. Again, if you don't have one, I recommend cropping one of your game screenshots. If you've got a small resolution game like mine, like Pixel Washer is only 512 by 288, make sure you scale up your image and use a hard edges or nearest neighbor algorithm. That way the pixels look nice and crisp. Under Background Image, select your new image, then press the Update button. Now that should be all that you have to do. Now when you go to your Steam page and hover over developer or publisher, you should see it linking to a nice URL like developer slash Valadria, publisher slash Valadria. Again, if you don't see that right away, just wait a few minutes and check back. Good job setting this up, honestly. Most indie devs I see have not done this. So you're now above the curve. Now the final step is help out your fellow Steam devs. When you see someone that has not done this, send them this video. Thanks for watching and I hope this guide was helpful. Let me know if any steps are missing or incomplete. I can't update the video of course, but I can update the article on Valadria.com. You can find a link to that in the description and that article includes links to everything you need including Steamworks documentation, Steamworks homepage setup, and also helpful resources I've created like the Steam Dev Cheat Sheet and how to make a good Steam page. If this video helped you out, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe button, ring the bell, and hey, pick up a copy of my book, How to Make a Video Game All by Yourself.